So this is the GM4104 that I'm working on. Um, if you get a chance, uh, click the like button and subscribe to our channel and the bell notification so you get more info about the videos that we're shooting here. We've got lots of things that we're working on. If you like vintage buses, Detroit diesel engines, cool channel to subscribe to. Thank you. Okay, I'm getting ready to remove the transmission on this GM4104. This is the one that has the loose flywheel. So when we take a, well, when it's running, I can see it wobbling, but if I take a pry bar, I can wiggle it quite a bit. Uh, eighth of an inch, a little bit more maybe that it moves, but when we move it down here with a pry bar, the dampeners on this end don't move at all. So it's not in play. Um, it is definitely a loose flywheel, so. Removing the transmission is not too hard. Probably going to take us about, I'm going to say an hour and a half to have it off probably. And, uh, but we'll see how it goes. This is one of the buses, the rare buses that actually has the floor, uh, the original underpans on it. So I'm going to remove those two and then drop the drive shaft, pull all the linkages, the clutch linkage, gear selectors, the emergency brake, the wires, a couple little wires that go to like the reverse solenoid and some other stuff, and then all the bell housing bolts. And then some of the 4104s actually have a mounting point specifically on them, a lifting point where you can lift from it. This one does not have that. Uh, so we'll just wrap chains around it and uh, lift it with chains. must have a heck of a driveline vibration. This brake drum is missing big chunks of it. Uh, I mean, that's pounds of metal missing. I can't imagine that that wasn't really just crazy vibrating around. So a loose flywheel and that. So both ends of this transmission got it coming and going. Loose flywheel, <laughs> missing a couple of pounds of metal on a, dr on a brake drum, wow. That's not something you'll see every day. Very, very few buses still have this on them. This is the reverse solenoid. So when you have it in first gear and you flick the little button up there, the solenoid pulls this back and then you can go into second gear and second gear drops it into reverse while the solenoid is retracted. This thing is like $500 for this solenoid right here. It's crazy. Uh, is that gonna solve my problem? It is not gonna solve my problem. Two clamps on one bolt. I almost took off the wrong clamp. Here, got a speedometer cable, 
Oh, I gotta get a pair of pliers for that. Is there a pair of pliers on your cart, Kelly? That's the speedometer drive. Close. Okay. Um, go release the parking brake in the bus, please. Sorry. Okay. I can see that this has been riding the parking brake lever here is worn it's been riding up against the gear selector here so when the, when it's actually off and you put it into gear it's really pushing it over so that needs an adjustment well I'm gonna probably take that parking brake off because it's no good okay I'm going for the clutch I'm gonna need some Tight. It required two wrenches. Now I got it. Okay, I need a medium-sized pry bar, please. Almost got it. Where'd I leave that bolt at? Right there. Okay. So I'll show the good side. Okay, I need a 9 sixteenths. Feel my hands again. <laughs> I could have kept wiping a little bit more of my arm. They're really good on the slimy messes, like being under Detroit. Look. Just removing the U joint here for the drive shaft. This has that slotted groove in the bottom of it. That is a matching slot. Kind of different. Okay, let's pull it backwards. Okay, 
because you're gonna need to go. Well, the whole thing can move this way. You know, it doesn't have to. This this doesn't have to be lined up with this. Okay. But what I don't want it to do, because it's got the brake drum on here, I don't want it to clock really hard that way. Can we pull it back towards me first, or can it not? Got it. So the top or is it pretty uh, even? It's a little bit more at the top. Okay, hang on a second. I think we just need to come up. Nope, you're making it tighter at the top when you do that. You want me to push on it more here? Yeah. You're too high, I think. I think you need to come down a little bit. Going? Yep. Because it's coming off. Okay, come on over here and pull on this. You're still closer at the top than you are at the bottom because you pumped it back up a little Let's bit again. Can pull backwards if you can. Hitting the, 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 the brake is hitting over here. Still tighter than the bottom? A little bit. Alright, hold on a second. Let me see that pry bar. Trade you. We're hitting that drain line. You may or may not have to remove that clamp. I'm going to bounce this on here while you pull this thing back. Oh, we just wedged it in there, I think. Right? Uh, the brake shoe went behind the thing. I feel like the, the brake housing just went behind that metal right there. It tipped this way. But bring, bring it up just a hair. Nope. Let's take it down a little That's bit. That's what I would put like down. You gotta be real gentle with that. Be ready to tighten it right back up. You have to go up, right? It's resting on the thing that has to go up just a little bit to tighten it and then give it just a little pump. Let's try that. Uh, maybe, well, we'll see.
more a little pump. I like using your foot, that's cool. <laughs> okay, right here. It's pretty neutral. Okay. Yeah. I got this part, I think. I don't know. How, how hard are you pushing down on it? Just a little. Okay, I mean, I'll probably let go of it. Okay, come around the side and pull the. Pull back? Yep. How far back can we move down? Uh, Is it ready though? Yeah, I see that. Um, can it come down? Is it clear now where it can come down? Um, no, we're hitting right here. But if I. If I hold this and you let it down. I'm gonna swing this thing for you. Okay. So we just need to get careful. We need to get the chain out of the way there. Clear of everything, right? It, just it looks down. like it. I can't see the back side, but it seems like we are. Slope. Do we want boards across this? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and grab them. You can let go of that thing. Doing that. We're hitting the side of the bumper here. We're tapping it just a little. I'm pulling it, so it should be fine. Should I take this out of here, though? Just pull. Ow. Okay. Well, some of these buttons, like that one, look pretty good. And then other ones are worn pretty severely. So clearly the fingers weren't adjusted right. And the throw out bearing has a huge groove in it. Um, it's, I mean, that's, that's, that's a ridge there that's not supposed to be there. So that thing's pretty severely worn. We'll get into the rest of it here in a little bit. There's definitely some oil in there, but I think that's because it had the oil leak of the generator. This is the massive oil leak. It was leaking down on there. You can see where it's coming down through here. So, let's see what we got behind door number one. Let me take this off. sharp things here. I don't want them to poke me. Am I taking this? Yep. Spin the flywheel over. Grab the teeth and turn it. Do I need to keep going? No, I think I can get it here. Okay, you can spin some more. Maybe. I got it. I say it doesn't last long. They are 
all safety wired. I expected to see some broken, but they might be broken to the other side and just held in place with the safety wire. That looks like it's spun on there. So we'll figure it out in just a second here. Here? Yeah, wobble it. No, go behind the gear part. Right yep. Yeah, and then kind of wobble it. It's moving, but I don't think it's moving there. Keep doing that. Yep, this is this the the flywheel is moving, but the I think the crankshaft's moving too. Right, we'll figure it out here. Problem with something other than what I anticipated it being. We'll figure it out here. See how the surface of the flywheel is like marred because it was loose and moving around in there. End of the crankshaft. It's got some of that too. Let's see if I can just clean it up real good, put it back on. And see if there's any wild it's got to come back off again i gotta replace that main seal obviously what you're looking at right now is the time to change it and it's been leaking but, uh, let's see if just tightening it up is going to get a good get rid of the wobble Okay, so she's got a pry bar behind there now. Try a little, are you trying really hard there? Just got a tiny bit, so that's just the end play right there. So that's good, so yeah, it just needs to be tightened up is all that needs to happen. But we're gonna take it back off because it needs a new rear main seal and everything. Much, much better. All right, and we're gonna put new bolts in too. You don't wanna reuse those, especially if they were loose on there like that. Um, so we're gonna, Replace those as well in the parts order with Luke at US Coach. Overall, the clutch friction surface, there's a ton of it on here still. Uh, it's in decent shape. It's not all cracked or broken or anything. Um, it's got a little bit of wear to it, but the wear is going to match what it goes back together with. So we're just going to clean this all up. He doesn't need a new clutch right now. He's probably got 100,000 miles left on this clutch. So uh, no, no reason. If, if it was, you know, 20, 30% life, then I would say change it for sure. Or if it was really bad, but it, overall it's in pretty good shape. Okay. And then here we're going to show you the end wobble here, the before and the after. I'll edit it in the before. So that's like nothing compared to what it was. That's just, that's end play right there, I think. That's good, thank you. Look how much of that brake drum is missing. I mean, 
that's a massive amount of cast iron. There is no way that there wasn't a huge vibration in the drive line. There's another section missing there. And it's not like it's equally centered. <laughs> so let's see. If I, this is straight up and down. That's, that's like, well, it's about that far for the next one. <laughs> you can actually see it there where it starts and where that one starts. So that's a massive amount of brake drum missing. That had to be a hell of a vibration back there.